And now, the best 60-ish seconds of your week. It's Thanksgiving week, and as some states get ready to certify their results, there are still legal battles in several battleground states based upon the returns of the 2020 elections. And regardless of how these turn out, the fights in the courts right now are not only the appropriate thing to do, they are important for a variety of reasons beyond the results of the 2020 presidential election. Because every vote that is improperly cast or improperly counted, whether by outright fraud or simply by administrative error, cancels out the vote of an honest citizen who cast his or her vote properly. And that needs to be addressed from now forward. Unfortunately, we're hearing more about lockdowns, shutdowns, etc. And we've always been asked by the left especially to quote unquote, follow the science. So let me suggest to you that you check out the Barrington Declaration or the Great Barrington De Declaration, which is a group of the top medical science people in this country and across the world who have signed on to a declaration about the inability of lockdowns and shutdowns to control the Wuhan flu pandemic. It's really worth taking a look at because several of its issues have suggested that it's bad public policy for the economy and for individual health and mental health. But now the science community is weighing in in big numbers. You don't hear about it too much in the mainstream media, but check out the Barrington Declaration or the Great Barrington Declaration. And as states push back against governors across the country that are imposing additional lockdowns, hopefully your state is not being forced to go back to the early 2020 time when the economy was virtually shut down. And of course it is Thanksgiving week, a uniquely American holiday in many respects, dating back to 1621, where the Pilgrim founders took several days to celebrate a great harvest and a new friendship with some Native Americans in Massachusetts. But some say that Thanksgiving celebrations in America date back to the Jamestown Plantation several years before that. But it took many, many years before it became part of the official fabric of our nation. The Continental Congress, when it was meeting in York, Pennsylvania, our first capital, had a declaration of Thanksgiving, but it took another hundred years for Abraham Lincoln to proclaim it a national holiday, and another three quarters of a century before Franklin Roosevelt and the Congress in the mid-30s set the date. But now it's part of our culture and an opportunity to give thanks for all of the blessings of this life. God is good all the time. Let us give thanks. And to each of you, a blessed, happy, and healthy Thanksgiving Day. Because for now, that is the best 60-ish seconds of your week.